Standing nice and tall, belly in, ribs in, grounding your feet. On the next inhale, reaching your arms up, gazing at your thumbs. Exhaling, lowering all the way back down, relaxing your head. Inhaling, coming up halfway, extending the spine. Exhaling, hands on the mat, stepping or jumping back. Taking your time, coming down into Chaturanga. Inhale, lifting your heart, open your chest. Inhale, coming back into Downward Facing Dog. Taking five deep inhales and exhales here. One, grounding your feet. Two, belly in, ribs in. Three, shoulders away from your ears. Four, pressing your finger pads into the mat. And five, bend your knees, look forward. Inhale, stepping or jumping through, looking up. Exhale, folding forwards. Inhale, coming all the way back up, reaching up. And exhaling, hands at the heart. Inhale, bend your knees, reach your arms up, Utkatasana, chair pose. Exhale, hands down, dropping your head. Inhale, halfway, extending the spine. And exhaling, hands on the mat, stepping or jumping back. As you're coming down, elbows in, inhale, lengthening the whole body. And exhaling, coming into downward facing dog. Relaxing the gaze between your feet, pressing your hands firmly into the mat, relaxing the shoulders away from your ears, and trying to lengthen the spine and bringing all of your weight back towards your heels. Nice, long, deep inhales and exhales. At the end of your exhale, bend your knee, look forward, inhale, step or jump, Looking up, exhale all the way down. Inhale, bend your knees, reach your arms up. And exhaling, hands to heart. Inhale, reach your arms up, look up. Exhale, folding forwards. Inhale, halfway, look up. Exhale, stepping or jumping back. Chaturanga Dandasana takes you down. Inhaling, lifts your heart up and exhaling downward dog on the next inhale we're going to reach the right leg up towards the sky bend the knee allow the foot to drop towards the left slowly coming down to the mat lift your hips arch your back wild thing when you're ready taking your time to bring your hand back on the mat back to three-legged dog and then exhaling, bring your leg to the outer edge of the mat, foot flexed, inhale, reach your left arm up. Exhaling, dropping the left hand down, inhale, reaching your leg back up. And exhale, step the foot between your hands. Dropping the left heel down, inhale, warrior one. Exhale, arms behind the body, interlacing your fingers. Inhale, lift your heart open your chest exhale humble warrior inhaling coming back into warrior two reversing your warrior rotating your palm up placing the left on the knee and inhaling back into warrior two place your left hand on your hip gaze at the mat gaze at a, gaze at a spot in front of you and place your hand on the floor on the inhale, coming into half moon pose. We have the option to reach your arm up or wrap it around your hip. And slowly coming back into warrior two. Windmilling your hands all the way down to the mat. Stepping the foot back and lowering down. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. And we'll come straight into the left side. Inhaling, lifting the left leg up, bending the knee, coming down onto the mat, reaching your hip up, wild thing. Inhaling, coming back into three-legged dog, lifting your leg high up into the sky. And exhaling, flex your foot, place it on the mat and lifting your right arm up. Exhaling, bring your hand back down. Inhale, three-legged dog. 
Exhale, stepping the foot between your hand. Warrior one takes you to, on an inhale. Place your hands behind your back, interlace your fingers. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, humble warrior. Inhaling, coming back into warrior two. Rotating your warrior. Inhaling all the way back up. And exhale, warrior two. And we'll get ready for half moon posture on this side. Place your right hand on your hip, left hand on the floor. Choose a spot to gaze at. This will help with the balance. Firmly grounding your foot. Flex your right foot and extend the arm up. Taking your time, slowly coming back into warrior two. And exhale, ro rotating your hands down into the mat. Step the foot back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. We're going to come into pigeon. Inhale, lift the right leg up. Exhale, place the knee behind the right hand. And slowly lowering down, relaxing your forehead onto the pillow created by your arms. Take a couple of breaths here, breathing deeply into your outer hips. Placing your hands back on the mat, we're going to slowly come back into downward facing dog and prepare for the left side. Inhale, reaching the left leg up, bending the knee, placing the knee behind the left hand, relaxing the right leg, and slowly placing your forehead onto your forearms. Again, take a couple of nice deep inhales and exhales through the nose. Your right side might feel different to your left, and that's totally okay. The longer you stay, the ch more chances your body has of opening up. Slowly placing your hands back on the mat. Take your time to come out of the posture and back into downward facing dog. Bend the right knee, extend the left. We're gonna bring our knees down onto the mat Relaxing into child's pose, sitting on our, onto our heels and extending our arms forward. Take a couple of nice deep breaths here. Before coming back into downward dog and then stepping forward to take a seat and lying on your back for Shavasana. Final relaxation. Completely let go. Come back to a normal, natural breath. Allow your shoulders to relax back and down. Allow your palms to rotate up towards the sky and allow your chin to gently drop towards your chest. Completely let go.